The first time Matthew and Chelsea Osborne ever thought about a cleft lip was just moments after their son Carter was born. There was no family history and no warning. It was kind of heartbreaking, you know, the first time, you know, just the shock of it all. Then it happened again. The only difference this time was that doctors were able to catch the issue early during an ultrasound. The look on the nurse's face, I could kind of tell something was wrong, but neither my husband nor I in a million years would have thought it happened again. Most of us wouldn't, but it might surprise you to know that cleft lip and cleft palate is the second most common birth defect in the U.S. behind congenital heart disease. And more babies are born with these issues in this country than in some developing countries. And in fact, cleft lip and cleft palate is twice as common in the United States as it is in the developing continent of Africa. Dr. Richard Kirshner is with Nationwide Children's Hospital. He says when parents like the Osbournes detect problems in the womb, they have more time to plan and weigh their treatment options. And a new study by the American Society of Plastic Surgeons says that can be helpful. The study found that babies who get cleft surgery at teaching hospitals have as much as 27% fewer complications afterwards. But Kirshner, who is also affiliated with Ohio State University, says the advantages of teaching hospitals don't just end when the operations do. One thing that makes us very special is we have a critical mass of absolute world-class leaders in their field in surgery, in speech therapy, and in orthodontics. It was that team approach that appealed to the Osbournes. For years, their kids can come back to see everyone from surgeons to psychologists to dentists all to make sure that an issue they've had since birth doesn't stigmatize them for life. Oh. At Nationwide Children's Hospital, this is Clark Powell reporting.